Today, I wanna to show you how to get started with Darktable. My name is Chris Parker, and this series of tutorials is going to give you a tour around this awesome raw photo editor. So if you're ready, well, let's do it. For those of you new to Darktable, it was created for the purpose of editing your raw files and managing them. Plus, it works seamlessly with GIMP. Darktable is comparable to Lightroom, but it has a lot of advantages over it. One being that it's free, it doesn't require a catalog, and it has a lot of editing tools and features that are better than Lightroom. Yes, better than Lightroom. To install Darktable, it's real easy to do. Find the link in the description below or in the resources folder of your class. And then once you navigate to the site, locate your operating system, download the file, and then you can go ahead and install it like you do any other software. So if you're on a Mac, you're gonna drag this to your applications folder and it will automatically install it. If you are on a PC, you're going to double click this file here that you downloaded, and then you'll follow the on-screen prompts to install it like you do any other software. Once you have it installed, you can then go ahead and open up Darktable. And I am using the Mac version, but don't worry, the Mac and the PC and the Linux version are all exactly the same. Also for transparency, I have two images in here that are mine. This one right here and this butterfly here, and then all the other images are stock images that I'm using to show you how to use Darktable. So once you open up Darktable for the first time, you will be in what is known as the light table view, minus these photos, of course. So this is going to be blank in the middle here. And then to begin working with your images, you have to actually import them. But like I mentioned, you don't have to create a catalog like you do with Lightroom. So to import your images, you're gonna come up here to the left panel, and then you can import either a single or multiple images, a folder of images, or if your camera is connected to your computer, Darktable is going to recognize that, and then you can import from the media card here. Now there used to be a button here that said scan for devices, which would scan for your camera and other media cards that were connected to your computer. But for some reason, I don't have it in this version. We're gonna go into great detail about all the different options for importing your images in part two of this series. So make sure you check that out after you finish this one. Now, some of the things that you can do in Lighttable other than just importing your images is organizing your images by adding star ratings to them, adding labels, tags, keywords, things like that to help you organize your images. And you can see here on the thumbnails, some of the images have stars. This one has one star, this one has none. Some have colored labels, and that's how you manage your images so you can find the images you need when you need them versus going through thousands and thousands of images like I have installed or imported into Darktable already. I have over 100,000 images. And even though these aren't my images, all my other images are organized. And you can see under tagging here, I have a lot of different tags that I've used for those images. So it's important to manage your images from the beginning so you can locate the images you need when you need them. So over here on the right, we have some options to help you organize your images here as well. And then we have our options down here to rate our images, either with star ratings or labels or both. And then down here, we have a timeline that shows the year for all the images in your library or your database. Now, if you look up here in the top right, we have an item called Darkroom, which is another view in dark table so if we click on dark room it will then navigate to that new view and it's going to show the image that you had selected in the middle screen here and then we have a thumbnail of all our images down here that we can navigate to and begin working on as needed over here on the left we have options to help us manage our workflow like snapshots and history which is going to record every type of edit that you apply to an image. And you can go back in time by clicking on one of these items to narrow down a specific point in the editing workflow in case you're not happy with the direction of the current edit. And then you can begin re-editing from here versus starting over. And then over here on the right, we have 
three different groups by default that includes over 60 different editing tools. So this first group right here is going to include things like adjustments for your white balance, exposure, lens correction, getting rid of digital noise, things like that. Next we have color grading, which is going to have things like color balance, shadows and highlights, tone curves, levels, and other editing tools for color grading or color correcting your images. And then we have effects in the final group here, which is going to include things like vignetting, adding grain, sharpening your images, maybe adding a watermark, things like that. Now this first group right here is going to actually show you all the active tools for that particular image. So you can see all the different editing panels here I used to edit this image right here. Now the thing that I love about Darktable is you can come in here and you can customize these group of tools based on your own preference or your own needs as far as editing goes and your editing workflow. Out of 60 plus tools, I only use about 15 to 20. So I've created my own group of tools based on my editing workflow. And it makes it easier to concentrate just on the tools I need to use versus going through this entire list to find the tools that I need. So if you click on this hamburger icon right here, you can click on manage presets. And then from here, you can either duplicate a default group and then customize it or click on this icon here. And then you can add a module group. You can rename it, click on this icon and then add the editing tools you want to put inside of that particular group. Make sure you give your group a new name. And then once you're done, you can come over here again and then click on your personal preset or grouping of editing tools. I have my three-step workflow right here, which includes the tools that I use 99% of the time. You can always come back and click on the default options to get the other modules, or you can just type in something right here to get one of the other tools not in your group. How cool is that? I love it. Now, as far as editing in Darktable, it works exactly the same like any other raw editor. You apply the edit and it doesn't apply directly to the pixels in the image file. The edits are stored in the database in Darktable and it creates an XMP file that stores that data. Now, the other cool thing is you can actually customize your interface to give your images more room to make them larger, to make it easier to edit those images. So if you take a look here on the right side and left side, those are two panels. And then at the top and the bottom, we have two additional panels and they each have an arrow right here. So if you click on that, you can condense that panel. We can do that for every side. If you hit your tab key, it will remove all the panels. If you hit your tab key again, it will reshow the panels that were visible at the time you hit your tab key. If you want to bring these panels back, you're just going to click on these arrows again. Now down here, we have our thumbnails. And if we hover our mouse right about there, we're going to get that icon there. And then we can increase the size of those thumbnails taller or shorter. Now, in addition to that tab key, there are a ton of keyboard shortcuts in Darktable, which you can find by pressing the letter H and you'll get a list of all the different keyboard shortcuts you can use to help speed up your editing workflow. In part two of getting started with Darktable, you'll discover how to import your images either from your hard drive or directly from your camera. Click that video right there to your left to discover everything you need to know about importing. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day. Make sure you click. Click it.